What's up YouTube, Shauna Anel here for another Lightroom tutorial. In the last tutorial video that I did, it was supposed to be Lightroom Basics for Beginners. We went a little bit more in depth than I planned. I actually wanna start a Lightroom series where I'll go through each one of those editing panels in a different video. And today I wanna to start out literally just going through the basics of like uploading your photos into Lightroom and then how to export photos. We're not gonna do any editing today, but you will know how to use Lightroom a little bit better. I'll share some of my tips. Let's get real. There are about a million ways you can do everything in Lightroom. And I'm sure you can find a lot of great content out there on YouTube. These are just some of the things that have made me successful as an editor. And these are, this is my workflow and how I get things done. So let's go. So my first pro tip has to do with your file storage and creating a project folder. You always wanna create a new project folder for each different project that you're working on. So let's say you shot some headshots, a wedding, and senior photos all in the same week. You need a different project folder for each of those. So let's jump in and I will show you how to create an organized project folder. All right, all you beautiful humans. So what you'll do on your hard drive, wherever you're planning on storing all of your photos, create a project folder. This is the folder that I created specifically for this video. And I called it something super creative, Lightroom tutorial folder, hey. <laughs> and you wanna create another folder inside there that is titled photos. Put all of your raw photos into this folder. Now we're going to go ahead and open up Lightroom. Lightroom always by default opens up to the last project that you were working in. So the first thing that we are going to do is go up and create a new catalog. Always create a new catalog for each project. Otherwise Lightroom will save all of your projects together and it becomes a huge jumbled mess where you can't find a thing. Give your Lightroom project the same title that you gave your project folder and then save the Lightroom project inside of that project folder. All right, so it will close out of Lightroom and then it opens it back up as a new catalog. So now that you've created your new catalog, you need to import your photos. Click on the library tab in the upper right. This is where you will do all of your photo importing. And import your folder on the left here. Click this little plus button, add folder. It already by default is in that project folder that we created. All I need to do is click photos, click choose. All right, click import down here. Here we go. All right, so that is the library tab. That's all we're gonna do with it today. If you move over to the develop tab, that's where you do your editing. We covered that in the last Lightroom tutorial and I will cover that more next time. But let's go ahead and say, we've edited all these photos. They look great. So we've gone over how to create a project. We've gone over how to create that project folder so it can contain everything all in one place. It'll contain your project, it'll contain your assets and then now let's talk about how to export everything so that it goes to that same project folder so first come on down here to this panel here at the bottom i click one and push command a that will select all of your photos down there and go file export all right so this defaults to same folder as original photo i keep this because it automatically organizes it and puts all of these edited exports into their own little folder. I'll show you where this goes in a second. So that stays the same. In this section, you can actually rename those photos. I'm not going to this time just for this video's purpose. File settings are here, so you can change the different formats of your images, and you can also limit that file size. Let's uncheck that for now. And now I'm going to go down and click export. You can see the progress up there in the upper left. Exporting four files. Doo, 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 doo. All right, once that disappears, you know they've been exported. Let's go ahead and hide Lightroom for a second. Ooh, there's another project I'm working on. As you can see, here's our project folder. It's called Lightroom Tutorial Folder. This random folder that has been created, that is your Lightroom project. Check it out. When you expand it, 
this is your Lightroom project. So if you ever close out of your Lightroom project and need to go back in, this is where you would go. Just go in, double click it, and it reopens that Lightroom project and you can pick back up where you left off. All right, so let's show you where those exports are. Open your photos folder within your project folder. And it has created this little Lightroom edits folder. These are your edited photos. Hey. All right, cool. So that is all I've got for you today. All right, guys, so that shows you the importance of that project folder. Everything is contained here in this one folder. You have your original assets. You have your project. And then here are those final exports. Super rad, guys. All right, guys, hopefully this made sense. I am going to be doing an entire series on Lightroom Basics for Beginners. Gonna go through each one of those panels there. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, leave me a comment, tell me if you liked it, tell me if you hated it. All of it really does help me out and I'll see you next week. Bye.